Hello everyone, it's Jareth the RPG Lord, and welcome back to another episode of Eternal Sonata. Last time we learned of the revolution, and the group decided to head out to Forte, and in this episode, we are going to cross the chorus plans, alright? And I'm going to be quiet here for a few minutes, so you can hear the wonderful music of chorus planes. Very nice music, right? On my first day of playing, I stopped here at Chorus Plains, and I was like, wow, this is an amazing game. Well, we have a new enemy, so let's fight it. And these enemies are kind of tough, as you can see right there. Um, uh-oh. Whoa. Okay, let's just attack these enemies. Oh wow, that wasn't too bad. You know, I am having a quite easy time. Maybe it's because, like, the last time I played this was um, on Encore mode, which is the New Game Plus hard mode, which is extremely difficult, but I managed to do it. And we will defeat this enemy. Let's use Sky Divider. Or no. You're all washed up. Yeah, and so let's keep going. Yeah, there are chests uh, like on the sides of the planes. I think there's one. I guess there's not one over here. Um, maybe on the right side. Maybe it's across the bridge. I don't want to have to look my walkthrough. Well, I'll just explore the whole planes then. That's totally okay. I, I love this game. I love the graphics. I just love seeing how beautiful everything in this game is. This game is a work of art. Alright, so let's go to the bridge. There's something on the bridge. So yeah, let's go. There's some paper on the ground, but we can't do anything with it yet. <laughs> what? What are goats doing in a place like this? If you're going to play, can you do it somewhere else? <laughs> Please, Mr. Goat, we're trying to get to the other side of the bridge. Do you think you can let us pass by? <laughs> it appears futile. He doesn't seem to have the slightest intention of moving. <laughs> I know! You have to use food in a situation like this. Everyone knows that animals always listen to people who give them food. You think? It's true, this one time in Retardondo, I gave a seagull some breadcrumbs, and it brought me my hat that was stuck in a tree. Well, I suppose we got nothing to lose. We might as well look for something they can eat. And what do goats eat? They eat paper. So we want to pick up three pieces of paper and the other piece is... where is it? I know it's somewhere around like here. Hmm. I don't want to have to go too far. 
I think it's over on the right side of the plains, actually. Um, hmm, where is it? Oh yeah, here's the second piece. And the third piece is near the entrance, so... Let's go pick it up, shall we? Gosh, it's so beautiful. Look at the wind, the petals flowing in the wind. And, uh, the Chorus Plains. Um, it's the cover art on the Eternal Sonata soundtrack. And it's just so beautiful. Alright, I'll meet you back at the bridge. Do you think I'll eat it? I guess goats really do eat paper. Well, goats eat pretty much anything, I think. It ate the paper. Hand it over the paper. It looks like that satisfied him. Come on, Mr. Goat, won't you pretty please let us pass by? Phew, finally we can get going. See, Reno, it's just like I told you, animals listen to you if you give them something to eat. All right, you win. I guess I'll have to start listening to whatever you say, Beat. Yeah, so let's cross the bridge. And we are in Coarse Plains South Lake. And there is a new enemy here. But let's fight this goat first. Don't take all day. Yeah, these goat enemies are very tough, so they're not exactly like the GOAT enemies, haha, <laughs> you see what I did there. It's gonna run towards Polka. Whoa. So, let's rack up some hits. Awesome, Allegretto. Huh. How was that? And Polka's close to leveling up. So, let's go over here and fight one of the new enemies. Well, there is only like one more new enemy in this area. And this chest contains a, let's see... Jezile, or Jezile, however it's pronounced. It is for beat, so let's equip it. It increases its attack by 9, so that is awesome. Now let's fight this enemy. Come on, come on, come on! Called an Earthshaker. <laughs> Attack, Allegretto. <laughs> and beat will rack up the fire blast. Good job. Very nice. And Polka, she used Orange Glow because she's kind of low. Three times! That is awesome! Whoa. Uh, that was a lot. But it's okay, we can beat this enemy. Let's do Sky Divider. Now it's down. Good job, Algretto. And Polka leveled up. I'm not gonna lose. Very nice. Thank you. Oh, another wave. That is a new move for Polka, so we should use it. But I think we should maybe switch out. Or should we switch out Algretto? Or let's switch out Beat. So like Frederick can heal, and Polka can use her new move. And let's equip that new move. Another wave is so good. And there are a lot of goats over here. 
Let's talk to this guy. Hi there, um, I have sort of an embarrassing request. You wouldn't have to have a pair of long johns handy, would you? Yes, we do. Hey, thanks. It was getting a bit chilly down south, if you know what I mean. I was just resting in the shade of a bush when all of a sudden a goat came up behind me and bleated right in my ear. Needless to say, I was surprised, and when I stood up, my long johns got caught. It was terrible. If I give you this, would you mind giving me some privacy? Sure, and we acquired goat's milk. Now let's fight um, another enemy, and let's hopefully use Polka's Nether Wave. There's another dragon enemy, so let's fight it. I love that line. Oh! Good. Good job. Now let's attack with... Algretto? And I want to talk about the story right now. So, as you can see, it's very deep, like, pretty psychological so far. And using magic is, like, a bad thing in this world. And I've never seen, like, any other RPG do that. Yeah, it's just so weird. And I- I love all the, like... Whoa! Whoa, that was close. Wait, you Sacred Signature? Sacred Signature! Sacred Signature! Awesome. Now, let's use Nether Wave. Let's hope we can do a lot of hits. Awesome, Polka. Whoa. Whoa, as you can see, this enemy is kind of tough. Well, Frederick used Sacred, Sacred Signature. Sacred Signature, okay. Sacred Signature. Awesome. Now, Polka to use Nether Wave and hopefully will defeat it, or without using Nether Wave. And Polka's, I mean, Algredo's pretty close to leveling up. So, yeah, I really like the story and just. And it gets a lot deeper later, just letting you know. It seems like a lot of people think that this story is stupid, but I don't think so at all. I mean,. Everything feels fresh, and new, and, yeah, like I said, like, in, like, what other game is magic a bad thing? I don't think there's, like, any other game that's like that. So let's fight this enemy. And Al Greto got a level up. Good job. I'm ready to take on the world. Very nice. Level 9. And there is a goat enemy over here. Let's fight it, but I'm not gonna cut it out. Okay. Oh, three enemies. This is gonna be kinda tough, but pretty fun as well. Go toward Algretto. I want you to go toward Frederick. Um, oh gosh. Let's use Sky Divider and hopefully defeat it. Very nice. Rack up some hits, Frederick. Let's just use Sacred Signature. Well, Polka, you should heal yourself. Awesome. Oh. Oh no. Well, use an angel trumpet now. I am ready. You see, these enemies are kind of hard, so you may want to go back to Go Go Village and buy some um, angel trumpets. Well, you don't need to buy them actually, because those little opera knights, the um, the bird enemies, have a high chance of dropping angel trumpets. 
Or defeat it before we use sacred signature. <laughs> now let's keep going. Look at that lake. Isn't it beautiful? So the water looks so pretty. A boat that's cut in half. Wow, I wonder what enemy did that. Well, let's keep going. And let's read the sign, detour. Yeah, because as you can see, like there's no bridge across the lake. Yeah, so let's fight this enemy. That was a piece of cake. Wow, as you can see, that was a pretty tough fight, but Frederick leveled up, and Polk is very close to leveling up. Yeah, I almost died there, so I should equip some angel trumpets. And use some healing items. Uh, I have 19 peach cookies, but maybe I should use... No, I'll use peach cookies. Maybe we should uh, switch out um, Beat for Algretto because... Um, I like... Um, because uh, party members outside of battle, like, that don't participate, only get, like, a percentage of HP. It's, like, 30%, but I think it also, like, scales as well. So, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, but let's set some items. Um, wow, I need to set some more angel trumpets. Maybe two peach cookies? Okay. And now let's switch out Algretto for beat. And all right, let's go. Coarse Plains, East Lake. I don't think we need to fight every enemy here. Let's just try to avoid as many as we can, but I will fight these goats because Polka is very just close to leveling up. Who are they gonna go toward? Um, okay, beat. Eat again. And maybe beat again. Well, I would use Sledgehammer, but it's only um, a dark move, unfortunately. But, um, let's keep attacking. Just hoping you know. Maybe we should go back out into the darkness or something. Whoa. I'll be, we'll be okay. It's three enemies at once, that is kind of tough. Well, Frederick, you can do it. Oh, good job, Frederick. Never extinguished by any wind. Burning without wood or oil. Sacred signature. I love that line. Well, let's go over here and um. Oh yeah, that's right. Sledgehammer doesn't attack from a distance, so he still defeated the enemy anyway. Thank you, Polka. Oh. Whoa. See, the enemies are kind of hard. But this is still a great place to grind. Um, okay. We defeat the enemy. Good job, thank you. And Polka leveled up. Awesome. Now, I'm gonna try to avoid all of the enemies, um, like, on the rest of this path. Hmm, let's, um, let's put Polka in the front. Let's keep Frederick there. Yeah, let's try to avoid. Come on. Oh! It wasn't a back attack. Come on, let's fight! Interesting. This is what sl Sledgehammer is like. Let's use it. And it causes knockback. It's very good. That was a long fight. 
Well, I don't think there are any more enemies on this route. Oh, you may want to save here. So, let's do it. Now, let's go. Look up ahead, everyone. There's someone there. Get back! I won't let you lay a finger on my goats! You'll have to get through me first. We have to help that woman! Don't be such a crybaby! Okay, so this is a boss fight. We have this, uh, person on our team. As you can see, her name is Viola. Good job, Polka. And she can attack using a bow. She is very good. Sacred signature. Sacred signature. I'm sorry. Sacred signature. Awesome, Frederick. All right now, let's go over here and attack. Yeah, they can steal some HP, but they're really not that tough. Uh oh. Wait, how did she dodge that? All right. Attack. Sacred strike. Awesome. Now let's attack some more. Sacred signature. I should probably I should have probably equipped uh, like Coup de Grasse for Frederick, but we can show it another time. Oh. And for Viola, let's attack. Oh, I wanted to use Sacred Strike, but I guess I didn't have enough time. That was it! And Polka and Frederick leveled up. I'm not gonna lose. Awesome job, you two. Let us celebrate and be satisfied. Thanks a lot for your help. You all managed to save my goats. What was with those guys anyway? They were weird, and they all used magic. Yes, they had the ability to use magic, which means that they must be terminally ill, doesn't it? But why on earth would they attack us like that? They had a strange, evil look in their eyes. What? You mean you don't know? That's what happens to people when they use mineral powder for too long. What? You mean, if you keep using mineral powder, you might end up like those guys? But, lots of people in Red Hardondo are using it. That's why floral powders aren't selling. So that's it. The mineral powder. I knew something fishy was going on. It's been bugging me for a while, and now I get it. Huh? What do you get? Come on. Think for a minute, Beat. Why do you think mineral powder is the only thing that's not taxed? Well, that's an easy one. It's because Count Waltz is doing something nice for his people. No, dummy. You can't see things for what they are because you're always looking through that lens. Listen, try again and this time think about it more. Isn't it strange that mineral powder is the only thing that's not being taxed? Yeah, I guess. But that's okay. Because since mineral powder is so cheap, it can help lots of people. True. Mineral powder does cure most illnesses, but it has some very serious side effects. Mineral powder is actually closer to a poison. It drives people mad and eventually can lead to death. You saw it for yourselves. That's horrible. Well... Grazing time is over for today. 
Hey, why don't you all stop by my place for a while? It's not very far from here at all, so come on. My name is Viola, and this little guy over here is my partner, Arco. Oh, how cute! So mineral powder's a poison. But there must be more to it than just that. Something to be gained from spreading it amongst the people like this. What could Count Waltz's real objective be? That's what I'd like to know, too. He cannot possibly want to kill all of his own subjects, can he? Who knows? I've heard that there are lots of dark rumors about the Count. But if he wanted to kill his own people, there are easier and faster ways to go about doing it. Now wait a minute. Maybe he doesn't know about the side effects of the mineral powder. Is it really possible that he doesn't know? Well, mineral powder does have its uses, you know. But just because it's useful doesn't mean it should be used. Those involved might not realize what's wrong until it's too late. Unless someone does something about this soon, there won't be anything anyone can do to stop it. And since we can see what's going on, it's up to us to let them know. They like the convenience of it so much, they don't see the danger they'll be faced with later. I see. People might notice that something isn't right, but they can't bring themselves to give it up because it makes life easier for them. It's true what they say. The longer you wait, the harder the cure. Regardless of whether Count Waltz knows or not, I don't see any other option than to go to Forte Castle. Once there, we may learn more. If possible, we should try to meet with the Count in person and discuss his intentions directly. <laughs> you guys are really something. I'm actually starting to believe you'll be able to make a difference. And since my bow has some life in it... Okay, that settles it. I'm going with you guys to the castle. Besides, I owe Count Waltz some payback. A bunch of my poor little goats have been killed because of what he's done. What? You're telling me we've got another one now? Oh, terrific. Sorry, buddy, not so fast. You've actually got two more coming with you. Arco and I always travel together. Well, we got Viola now. She is so good. Oh wow, uh, Beats kind of behind. So, um, we have a chest here. It contains a club clover, which restores HP to everyone in the party for 3,000 HP. And there's a map of the world right here. It's very interesting. And this is where Viola's house is. It's on the north side of the plane. I don't think there are any more items around here. But there is someone. Um, gone, gone. The three letters I had for Miss Viola are gone. Where did I drop them? Um, uh, the goats ate them. Sorry. Well, um, now that we went across the chorus plains and met Viola, I think we should end it off here, alright? Next time on Eternal Sonata, we will leave the planes. Alright? See you guys then.